is it comfortable for me to say that Herbert Mwigwe um, funeral in River State was a means for politicians to actually speak out their minds? Because Fubara threw shades at Mwiki and Senate President Akbabio responded. Guy, Senate President did not just respond to Fubara, the governor of River State. He also threw shades at the same time at Peter Obi while introducing himself. Like, he just climbed pulpit and the first person where you go carry now the presidential candidate of an opposition party that you all detest so much. Anyway, this one make you not come be like saying now me talk calm. This is coming from his own lips. Before some of you will now say where is the shade? How did he throw the shade? Listen carefully and after you listen, drop your comments respectfully. His Excellency has brought that to our attention. At this point in time, His Excellency, the Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, shall be delivering some brief remarks. Your Excellency, sir, Senator Godswill Akbabu. Praise the Lord. I know, I know that since I'm not, I wasn't a presidential candidate, <laughs> the ovation that the redeemed church will give to me will not be as much as my brother who was a president. <laughs> But let me, let me thank you for giving me the opportunity to lend the voice of the federal government of Nigeria to the Biri family, to River State, to the business community, to the global community, and to all Nigerians. It is not a normal occasion. This is a very abnormal occasion. We will continue to grieve after this. So I won't go into much details. I won't even go into protocols. I just want to extend the condolences. President Bola, I'm a Tunibu. His government, the National Assembly that I'm privileged to be chairman, and all members of the legislature in Nigeria, to the Biri family, to Access Bank, particularly my brother, Ike Imukwede, the co founder, and then the widow. The widow is with us here now. There are many members of the family. That's why I say it's not the normal location. Normally, the wife would have been here. If the wife was not here, the first son would have been here. But as God pleases, none of them is here. They are all here in front of us. May their souls rest in perfect peace. It's been almost a month of mourning. There is nothing that we can do than to continue to express our heartfelt condolences, our sadness over the demise of the entire, of this family. Herbert was an iconic figure. He was a people's person. I believe he was a friend and a brother to all that came across him. Together with his brother, they raised Access Bank to a level of among the first five top banks in Nigeria, considering their ages to number one. Considering their ages, you can see that their hard work paid off. 
So let me also extend the condolences of the federal government to the father and the mother of the late Herbert Miwe, that just like the governor of Rivers has said, may Almighty God console them. And for those of you who are here, may you never have to bury your child. Amen. Can you shout aloud, amen? amen? We are equally very sad. From the back, I came with a galaxy of senators. They are all there. Some may not have found space here. We are also grieving. The 10 Senate, even the 9th, 8th, and the Eighth Senate that I once belonged with uh, my brother, Bukola Saraki, former Senate President. We are all grieving today, the entire political class. We can't even succeed without the banks. As the family is crying, my brother Ike, there are some that are in the hospital with drip now. And not the family, particularly the political class. So you can imagine that the death we are witnessing here is global. I was with the pre president of uh, Kenya in uh, Namibia when Genkop was uh, the immediate past president was buried. We sat next to each other and all he discussed for over two hours was this tragedy that had befallen Nigeria. He had a lot to contribute. But sometimes God gives signs. They say those that God loves most, he takes them young. He was doing everything in a hurry. You see the fantastic structure of a retirement home for his family in Lagos? Or are you going to talk about even the beautiful university, one of the best in the whole of West Africa that he had concluded? Are you talking about his human relations? The last time he called me was almost 11.30 in the night. And he said I should rush down to meet him for a late dinner in uh, Roland Chaguri's house. We met, and I think my brother Dangote was also there. We met there full of life. Nobody would have expected this. But the man of God pointed out that it is a journey that all of us will one day make. My prayer is that God should enable us to be ready before we make this journey. As a young child, growing up, I attended a burial ceremony of a 12-year-old boy. And the man of God, while preaching, said, in my language, which means that this death is so sweet, those who die in the Lord. One old man stood up and left and said, if the death was so sweet, why are you up to 50 and you are not dead? So some people jo joined the man and walked away. If anybody says yes, that is good, uh, sweet, those who die in the Lord, it is in order to fulfill the Bible. But for those of us who are mortal, this death is very painful. And very painful indeed. We are not going to cry in one day alone. We will cry in so many days. When you look at the university, you will cry. When you pass through his personal house, an edifice will cry. When you pass through any of the access bank branches worldwide, whether the one in Dubai or whether the one in Kenya or anywhere, you will cry. When you come across children that he touched, those that he sent to school and the lives he touched, when they are talking about it and they mention his name, you will cry. When you even remember the father, his hair, Chisi, was already a, a, an iconic figure, a talented young man, highly educated, the best universities, prepared to take over the empire from the father, and yet he's no more, you will cry. When you think of the father, the wife could have been here to also mourn with us, but she joined him, then you will cry. Then you ask yourself, just like Governor Fubara said, what is the struggle all about? I will answer you. The struggle, we are not talking politics. In 2006, I wanted to be a deputy governor. So 
So the then deputy governor invited me and told me that this office has no money. There is nothing in it. I don't know why you still insist on moving me from here and taking me over. So a woman who went with me said, Your Excellency, then don't wait for impeachment. Just resign since there is nothing in it. And he stood up and he started punching the woman. And I told him, Yes, don't punch her. She's telling the truth. There is nothing in the office. That's why I want it. Because you are too big for it. So, Yes, Governor Fupara, if there is nothing in the struggle, don't struggle. <laughs> but the soul of an of icon, a South South mentor, a man of excellence with his family, a great friend of the people. A man who is without compassion. It takes seven muscles for you to smile and about 32 muscles for you to frown. Herbert never had time to frown. He preserved his energy at any point in time. We can't question God. We can't say more than others have said. My brother, Dr. Rama, is here all the way from Egypt and so many others. The world is grieving today. May God Almighty turn our grief into joy one day when we come back to continue to immortalize his name. May the things he left behind, the legacies he left behind, be the joy that will remain in our hearts forever. Methuselah died at the age of 900 years or more, but he left only one thing behind. All the Bible says is Methuselah lived long and died. He did not leave legacies legacies in human form, in infrastructure, and all that. May the love still rest in perfect peace. I thank you. Thank you for even the happiness that you have shown now over the little speech that I've made. I, did, I cannot take more than one minute, so I thank you all. Thank you.